And after an immigration raid in O'Neill, Nebraska, families have found what they believe is a safe haven. Many stayed overnight in a local church. They're just too afraid to go home. Now starts the process of what's next. That's our top story tonight. Bill Price, who had an interesting point of view, he's the mayor of O'Neill and also a state patrol officer. The state patrol was among various officials who assisted ICE in the immigration raid that took place yesterday. The mayor says that for his own benefit, his boss kept him out of the loop and didn't tell him anything yesterday. In fact, he assumed a drug bust was taking place. Everything he's learned, he's read along with everyone else. This town has been very welcoming, um, very open to those folks, and obviously they were being terribly taken advantage of by those people that were indicted. Um, so we, I, I hope and pray that they're able to get on their feet and that anything that we as a community can do to help them, that we're going to do it. The mayor says he believes the immigrants were taken advantage of. Meanwhile, the school and much of the community is jumping in to help the families affected. Well, you know, we're a small community, a close community. So when one member hurts, everybody hurts. Um, it's a very giving community. There were a number of people, I can't tell you, countless texts, emails, phone calls I had from our community saying, what do we need to do for these families? Tell us how we can help. Reportedly about 50 of the 100, over 100 people detained yesterday have returned to their homes but still have lost their jobs and don't know what to do next.